I'll admit that I hadn't been paying that much attention to wrestling over the past week or so, so was out of touch on some things, wasn't really up to speed on some of the buzzy, newsworthy items, some of the controversial things, the dramas, if you will. So I've been trying to catch up, and one of the things that I'm catching up on is the saga of what happened over the course of this past week. I think it ties back to Tuesday night in NXT, and the name change for Walter. He's not Walter anymore. He's Gunther, a good German name. Like, Walter fucking isn't a German or Austrian name. Anyways, and, and I gotta confess, this is just so stupid on so many different levels. Like, three kind of key buckets. Number one, for the WWE, this rampant, incessant desire to have to feel like they have to fuck with things like a name change sometimes when it just doesn't matter. It isn't necessary. Like I could see if you were totally fundamentally changing the character, changing the presentation, changing a lot of things about the wrestler, the talent, the performer, the character, then I could understand doing a name change because maybe Volter doesn't hold the same weight. Maybe it just doesn't work as well. But when you're just bringing them from whatever, fuck, NXT UK, and you're bringing them to NXT, and you're really dealing with your same kind of core audience, or just a larger portion of that UK audience, why the hell does it matter whether he's called Walter or Gunther? Promise you, being descended from a bunch of Bavarian fucks, they're both equivalently German names. Or Germanic names, whatever you want to say. It's just stupid. And thinking that making that name change is necessary or required. Now, maybe you're trying to sit there and say, hey, we take him to the big roster. We want to own the rights and we want to do this. You know, I get it from a business standpoint, but it's also kind of stupid. If you're the WWE right now, you should be focusing on trying to get guys to that level. Like get to a star level and figure out the rest of the shit later. Who gives a shit? I mean, I'm sure you do if you're WWE, but it's just the whole thing, the semantics of having to do these name changes when they're not called for and then sitting there and slapping a new name on somebody, not changing shit about them and then pretending like, oh my God, all of a sudden they're so much different. It's just stupid. And I point at something at that, like that and I say, if that's what you're focusing on, you're focusing on the wrong damn things and it's an epitomization of the problems with WWE as a whole from their creative and thought process standpoint. So that was stupid. Then frankly, f for the fans, you know, the whole thing that this was trending and this was a big topic, I'm not bashing the fans here on this, I'll do that in a moment. It just speaks to how damn boring wrestling is now. Right? I mean, fundamentally, you changed his name from one German sounding fucking name to another. What the hell difference does it really make at the end of the day? But because we have so little that actually gets us engaged and emotionally invested, we have so little to actually truly fundamentally care about because there is so little that is actually truly interesting about professional wrestling today. This is the type of crap that people rage about. This is the type of crap that people tweet storm about. This is the type of crap that people do video rants about. That's kind of sad and pathetic. Not so much for the people involved, fans, wrestlers. It's just sad and pathetic for professional wrestling as a whole. The product is so bad across the board and people care so little about the product across the board. So they're going to focus on this one menial thing that in the grand scheme of things really doesn't matter all that damn much and blow it up to the nth degree like it's some type of big freaking deal. Right? If wrestling was doing enough, and that's WWE, it's AEW, it's New Japan, it's Impact, it's GCW, it's anybody else. If they were doing enough things to consistently keep you interested, you probably wouldn't give two shits about this. Let's just keep it real. 
And you would think that the amount of outrage on here, you're talking about a guy that was already an established huge star, an established main eventer, and I promise you, even if you like the old tapioca tits, dude, he ain't that. And we can debate whether or not he'll reach that level, but what we can't debate is whether or not he's at that level now. He's not. And this propensity to look for things to have to talk about because you just don't have enough reasons to care about the product or enough reasons to care about the talent. So you sit there and stress about undercard and mid-card guys till kingdom fucking come. It is absolutely the fault of professional wrestling and everybody involved and shame on these companies and these promotions for not being better, frankly, at their fucking jobs. Your number one job at the end of the day is to keep people entertained. And you're not doing that. And that's why people are looking for reasons to entertain themselves talking about shit like this. And then the third thing that was really stupid about this, I, mean, I will crap on the fans now, is with the whole Gunther name change, it took me a moment to catch up to like, yeah, people are talking about Nazi and da da da, and they're pointing to a Navy U-boat commander that served in the German military, in the German Navy, in World War II, named Gunther Stark, and apparently that was going to be the name change for Gunther, Gunther Stark, and people got a hold of that and said, oh my God, didn't they do a basic Google search? It's a fucking Nazi. We're naming him after a goddamn Nazi. We see what you're doing here. This was intentional, and this is all of this. And look, as much as I've talked about some of the discriminatory and racist practices and presentation problems of WWE over the years, we also have to be very realistic about things. Do you really think the way this company is being run now from a creative standpoint that somebody actually Googled the name? I mean, seriously, you may want to believe that, you may want to think that, but do you have any real tangible reason to believe that? And it's such an obscure thing, like you could say, hey, why don't we Google search the name and see what comes up? I agree with you, probably a good idea. Probably. But do you think they actually did it? Like, if you want to shit on the WWE for that, okay, fine. Whatever. Is what it is. But there is a lot of intellectually dishonest discussion about Gunther Stark and the name, and they're naming him after a fucking Nazi. And no, you don't know that for sure, and here's what I mean. You know, I have long Germanic roots, you know, many, many generations from Germany of my ancestry. There were soldiers that served in World War II for the German army. Certainly there were members of the Nazi party in my family lineage. So it's not something that I don't have a little bit of familiarity and understanding with. The point I'm getting at, and especially for those that were actually Nazi party members, I hope they fucking rot in hell. You see how that works? Hopefully people that are related to those that fought for the Confederacy to protect slavery and expand slavery in the Civil War uh, could understand that plight too. I'm not gonna celebrate him just because I'm related to him by blood. I didn't choose that. That's not me. I choose to live my life not like that. But when people are saying he's a goddamn Nazi commander and they're naming him after a Nazi commander, that's just historically ignorant. If you served in the German military during Hitler's time, you did swear a personal oath of allegiance to Hitler, but that didn't necessarily mean that you were a member of the Nazi party. Now, if you were talking about the SS, by and large, those were Nazi members. Different conversations. It was the SS that ran the concentration camps. It's just different. The point I'm getting at here is, you could sit there and say you're naming them after a German U-boat commander in World War II. That you can absolutely verify as factual. He had, if you're saying Gunther Stark, that's the name that is true. What you can't say is take that leap of saying that somebody served in the German military so that automatically made him a Nazi. No, that made them a German soldier. It is just like how in the American military, if somebody signs up to be a soldier, does that automatically mean they were a Republican if they served under Donald Trump or a Democrat if they do this while under Joe Biden? No, that's fucking stupid. 
just like that, is fucking stupid. Many of those soldiers that served in the German military were conscripted, meaning they were drafted, meaning they didn't have a choice. So even though you had plenty that were adamantly you know, aligned and sympathetic to the Nazi cause and Nazi beliefs and their hatred and genocide and you know what they did, there are plenty of other soldiers that did not. So it was really dumb when I saw all these people talking about they're naming them after a Nazi. They're naming them after a Nazi. No, they're naming them after a German U-boat commander that you don't know unless you can provide me proof or documentation that says that Gunther Stark, this U-boat commander who died at like the age of 20 fucking seven, was an actively enrolled and participating member of the Nazi party. Like it takes this one thing and just goes to a whole another thing. And you might say, well, why the hell does this bother you so much? It bothers me because people continue to take intellectually dishonest approaches when they want to talk about something or they complain about something. He may have, that Gunther Stark of history from World War II may have been a Nazi, but he may not have been. So people are making leaps and jumping to conclusions that are not necessarily historically accurate, historically verifiable. And a little bit of educating yourself like the people that are using Google and using the internet to search these things should actually take another step to actually search and research these things. Now, if you're going to bring up these criticisms, like at least have you know your fundamental basic established facts in order. And of course, because it's the internet, time after time after time after time, people don't. And the number of people talk about, there's a Nazi, it's a Nazi commander. How do you fucking know he was a Nazi or not? It's just stupid. Because I imagine if I said the same thing, well, how many of these American soldiers, you know, serve in the military? Can I just call them all baby killers and oppressors? And, you know, they participate as part of that. Like sometimes it's tough when you have to separate the government and the cause from the soldiers. And soldiers fight for all types of different reasons. Some volunteer and they're gung-ho about it. Some get conscripted and they're okay with this. Some get conscripted and signed up and they don't want any part of it, but they have to for fear of being shot or arrested or their families being killed or whatever the fuck. But the whole dialogue about this, he's a Nazi commander, even though he was a U-boat commander, which doesn't automatically make him a Nazi. The fact that we're talking about goddamn name of a wrestler because there's nothing else interesting to talk about with wrestling right now. The fact that WWE thought it was so goddamn critically important for a guy where you talk about the name, it is a part of the presentation of the performer that has been doing it this way for a couple of years. Now all of a sudden you get him here stateside and the first thing you want to do, for whatever your reasons may be, is change his fucking name. Like just everything about this whole scenario and situation was just stupid. Because wrestling is just so damn boring right now.